Hey guys, so during my trip to Japan, I picked up quite a few parts for my S2000. Now, one of them being these pair of headlights, which I will change today. But the few other parts that I have ordered have yet to arrive, so those will be coming in a future video. Please ignore the number plate stickers and the crack in the bumper. I do have a replacement bumper going on for this soon. But look at the difference between the two, the cloudy one on the car at the moment and the crystal clear one that I have purchased. Now I could have used one of those headlight restorer kits on this headlight, but I will save that for the DC5. The bumper is off. It wasn't too hard, but it looks something like this. And the previous owner did use Allen key style bolts. And I'll be going back to the original Honda ones, which I had spare. And the headlights, well, they're quite easy to take off. I think we have to take off this one here. There's a bolt down there, one down the side, and then there's one underneath as well. I'm going to have to take off this headlight support as well because the HID module is underneath here and it will be in the way. So as you guys may have noticed, I took a bit of time to change the ballast and the HID bulb. And this one has the automatic headlight adjuster, whereas this one doesn't. So this is a very early S2000 headlight. So it's time to fit the headlight back and do the other side. The headlights have finally been changed. These are so much cleaner compared to the ones previously. These have definitely gone cloudy. I even took some time to clean up this area as well. There's a few rust spots, but you do expect this on such an old car. The bumper is finally back on. It's looking so much nicer. But from Japan, I do have some items coming. So I have a stock air box with a spoon filter. So I'll be getting rid of this AEM V2 cold air induction. I also have a spoon throttle body to go on there, a spoon ECU and various little other bits. So it was quite easy to change the headlight today. I did come across a few rusty bolts but those were sorted out easily. So this car is coming along nicely so hopefully I'll see you guys soon.